Hello everyone, I'm so glad that you joined me and I am en route to the church right now and pass by this beautiful field and I just had to share a devotional with you. The Lord just started giving me a message and I believe that he has a word for you today. So it's called Overlooked But Valuable. I just began to do a study about these flowers and so I'm going to share it with you. You know, if you get a piece of information, you just got to share it with someone. Well, these flowers... I'll give you a closer look. These are very familiar to, to you, I'm sure, because it's like the first flower that comes up during spring. And it's called purple dead nettles. Purple dead nettles. The reason they call it dead is their cousin uh, is stings. But this doesn't sting, so they call it dead. It has no power to hurt you. But anyway, overlooked but valuable. Overlook means to pass over without giving attention that's due. Have you ever felt that way? Like, God, do you see me? Does anybody see me? You just feel overlooked. And so I want to go into a little bit of uh, the characteristics of these flowers and the nutrients. It's just amazing. So first of all, they are edible. They are edible. So let me tell you, they're, it's a highly nutritional superfood. Um, they're highly nutritious. They're packed with vitamin C, iron, fiber. It's an anti-inflammatory, inflammatory, antifungal, and, and it has antibacterial properties. And so purple dead nettle tea is exceptional. Listen at this. If you make it out of a tea, it's exceptional and it's potent in healing kidney disease. Um, and it's for the, the seasonal allergies. Think about right now when the pollen is so thick. Um, it's for allergies so God has prepared everything that we need right here and it's also um, for this for uh, chills if you get the chills or the common cold and it again it comes in the the spring when the pollen is the highest something else that it does I mean this is so cool to me it boosts your immune system it fights off bacterial infections and lastly it can be used externally for stopping bleeding as well as heal to heal a cut or a burn and bruises say like if you're just out walking around and you get a cut or or you get uh you get bit by an insect you know what you do you just uh you take the top off and i'm going to show you that it's edible i did it yesterday so, I, so in case this field has got poison on it um but look you just eat the top off and then you take the rest say like if you've been bitten you take the rest maybe put some spit on it if you don't have water clothes and you rub it on the insect bite or the burn and it goes to work it's I was just fascinated by that and it's actually tasty I mean it tastes it reminds you of like spinach and broccoli and I I'm going to tell you I even sizzled some in the in the skillet you know I took up well it's good that you take the stems off put a little olive oil in it and some Tony Sashers and I'm telling you what I enjoyed it it was so good but let's get into our lesson today so again you may feel overlooked or mowed down like we do with this and it made me want to harvest it out of our yard and freeze it and you can actually do that after you blanch it but I thought about David in scripture that he felt overlooked and Psalms uh, 31 and 12 says I am forgotten like a dead man out of mind I am like a broken vessel what was he saying he's saying I feel overlooked and ignored as if I were dead as if I were a broken pot that's useless I still have this in my mouth so um, he was overlooked but so valuable and the Lord had to show him to remember what David was known for he was the praiser the psalmist of Israel and I thought about whenever God spoke to Samuel um, that to anoint the king and he went to Jesse's house and he went through all the sons and that none of the sons were as he thought they were so let's go into this first Samuel 16 6 through 7 says when they arrived Samuel took one look at Elab and said Eliab and thought surely this is the Lord's anointed but the Lord said to Samuel don't judge by his appearance appearance or height for I have rejected him the Lord doesn't see things the way you see them people judge by outward appearance but the Lord looks at the heart so something else that is interesting you know you David was out in the field I mean he was overlooked they didn't even his dad didn't even say anything about him until Samuel said is there anyone else because God said no to the other brothers so the purple dead nettle again this is interesting too this is considered to be a humble plant much like David 
And because he humbled himself, he was a man after God's own heart. Even when David messed up, you know, through scripture, when, when he, you know, had the affair with Bathsheba, but he came to God with a sorrowful heart, with a repentant heart. And so the Lord honored that. And he, he saw David, you know, with the humble heart. And he said, that's, that's my man. You know, um, first Peter five and six is therefore humble yourselves under the mighty hand of God <coughs> that he may exalt you in due time. Exalt means to lift you up. David knew how to get his spirit up. Come on now. Um, especially when he felt overlooked. And this is what he did. He began to give God an offering of thanksgiving. And, you know, on how David, when you think about how David loved God, he worshiped him with all of his heart. But he just began to thank him and praise him. David could be in a dilemma in a chapter and like all hell was broken, broken loose around him and his enemies were chasing him. But then he called out to the Lord and you know what? His spirit was lifted up again. And so I want you to know something. You may feel overlooked by everyone else, but you are handpicked by God. You're handpicked by God. And let me tell you something. You are valuable and you have purpose. So let God get the most out of you. When I think of how this is so power packed, he's got some good stuff in you that's beneficial not only to you, but to other people as well. And so Psalms 139, 13 through 14 says, for you have formed my inward parts. You covered me in my mother's womb. I will praise you for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvelous are your works and that my soul knows very well. I love that. God said this in Isaiah 43 and four others were given in exchange for you. I traded their lives for yours because you are precious to me. You are honored and I love you. Isn't that something? So though you have felt overlooked, let me tell you something, you're not. God sees you and he has a perfect plan for your life. You know what, just lift up, we humble ourselves before him, begin to thank him and you'll feel your spirit lifting up. I wanna pray for you today. Dear Heavenly Father, we know we are not overlooked by you. You made us for yourself and your purpose that we might show forth your praise. God, may we continue to value what you've placed in us and share it with others, dear Lord. We thank you and we give you all the praise and all the glory due to your name. Thank you, Jesus. You are precious to us, God. We love you. Thank you for peace right now. Let your, let your people feel your peace. God, I just speak it over them. God, your word declares that the Lord of peace, may the Lord of peace himself give you peace at all times, in every way, in every situation. The Lord be with you all. In Jesus' name for your glory, Lord. Amen. Well, thank you for spending this moment with me. God loves you today. We love you. And always have a great rest of your day. Okay? Bye-bye.